After a day of seeing no tigers, we were down to our last safari. Amazingly enough, on our last safari, within the first 15 minutes, we saw two of the three youngest cubs that have been sighted in the park. They are four months old and not much larger than our house cats at home. Uh, their mother is called the Amanala or Bunbei tigress, and their father is none other than the famous B2. Their third cub is apparently very shy, and we never caught a glimpse of her. Uh, this was a more typical tiger sighting in that we saw these cubs for about a minute at the most, and we were told by our ranger that B2 was sighted with this family the previous evening. Uh, in fact, he was probably off with the tigress near a kill she had made two days ago while we were watching these cubs. And watching the curious little faces of the two cubs, peeking from behind a rock really drove home the difference between seeing a tiger in the wild to just seeing one in a zoo. Another interesting behavior of tigers in the wild is that the father tiger actually visits his cubs and plays with them and this is contrary to popular belief. The last two birds we saw on our way out were very high on our wish list, the gray hornbill and the brilliant plum-headed parakeets, male and female, which are probably the most colorful birds in the park, and it was almost like they had come to bid us a very special farewell. This really drove home the message that when you visit a national park, you really should spend a good amount of time there because every day you see something different all the way to the very end. This final shot is a sunset shot of Bandhavgarh Hill, for which the park is named, and we really feel that we all must take action and not let the sun set on the future of the tiger and the many other amazing creatures that we saw. And going by how magical our experience was, we definitely recommend that everyone visit one of India's amazing tiger parks, and seeing the tiger in the wild has seriously changed our lives, and we're more committed than ever to the future of the tiger and visiting the park is a great way to support the tiger by contributing to the local economy and we also urge you to donate to Saving Wild Tigers, a project of the Sierra Club volunteers where every dollar you give goes directly to saving tigers in the wild.